All right, CRC and friends, I'm sitting up here in the office getting in all kind of trouble with Pastor <laughs> Prophet today. It's uh, As we record this, it's middle of the week, and we are just fired up about the gospel, about Christ, about the fact that the King of Kings came to save us from ourselves. Amen. Uh, we were just talking about Amen. the message on Sunday. Uh, coming from Matthew chapter 16, how we're going to talk about the question, that Pe the big question that, that Jesus yes. asked Peter, and then the huge answer that Peter gave and how that has massive ramifications and how the Lord really can transform our hearts, transform our minds. In him, all things are possible. There is hope. Hope. And Amen. how we need to not be ashamed of that, right, Amen. Pastor? We can't be ashamed. I mean, because there's so much craziness, and I feel like sometimes I'm like just ranting and raving. But the devil is not kidding around out there, y'all. Not kidding around. You were just telling a story. What were punches. you just saying? I'm just telling a story. We were talking about, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a, there's an episode on YouTube of, of the children's show Blues Clues. Blues Clues. Mm -hmm. um, and so I didn't know that there were all these different flags that represented. I knew about the about the gay pride flag, but there's a transsexual pride flag. There is a, um, a, um, a lesbian flag. There is a binary flag. There, there's all these different flags that exist. <laughs> oh and I had to go to the children's show to learn this. And you learn it from the children's from show. From the children's show. So the devil's not kidding around. He wants our families. He wants our children. He wants to degrade the church. He wants to undermine truth. Mm -hmm. He is wa literally waving his flag. Literally. Has literally. large sections of the Western world literally shaking their fist at God in the name of love. Finding it on Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues. Finding it on the Nickelodeon Pride whatever, right? Pride cometh before the fall, beloved. Amen. And so this Sunday, we just, you know, we're just sitting in here, you know, uh, sharpening iron with one another and encouraging one another. And I just wanted to let you all in on the convo this morning. Uh, <laughs> it is not the time to be playing games. Now, look, I know that the restrictions have let up some and people are vacationing and so forth. But seriously, it, it's time to come to church. It's to time to come to house. prayer. Amen. Right. It is. It, we're, what, what are we doing? Amen. Right. What are we doing? Right. We got to get back in church. We got to get to prayer. I want to invite you. I want to encourage you. Push through. Is that Amen. am I being am I crazy? No, sir. Pu no, push, sir. push through. Get in here in prayer. Let's lay before the Lord. Let's sing to the Lord. Let's hear the gospel mm -hmm. on Sunday. Bring somebody with you. You know how many folk are unchurched right now? Many. You know how many folk where their whole church experience right now is online? Amen. I mean, really? Right. I mean, and so that this is what's happening right now. There are opportunities everywhere for the gospel. We just need to be bold. Amen. We need to love God enough to, to to, to, to pray and ask him for courage to do the things that we need to do. Pastor, help me out here. Amen. Anything, I mean. I, I, I think you, you hit it right on the head. I think you said boldness. Boldness is necessary. Boldness is needed. Don't let fear make you mark time. Don't let fear keep you in the same place. Right. Let that fear drive you to your knees and then get up and go stand and speak what thus says the Lord. Right. And and that, and that means in your household, as we were talking about doing this just this week, in our own oh, households. I was Jesus. just telling the pastor at the top of the steps in my house the other day, Jesus is Lord, right? <laughs> and so it is time, y'all. We got to get this thing. We got to get this thing moving. So I really want to encourage you all to, to come to church. Really want to encourage you to pray. Keep on, stay on your faces before the Lord. Again, this Sunday is gospel, right? We're going to be talking because the text has got us to this question where the Lord says, who do men say that I am. And then uh, then he asked Peter, you know, after, after the answers give, well, ask his disciples, who do ye say that I am? Amen. So we're going to answer that question on Sunday like he did. And then we're going to talk about that question and encourage one another in the gospel on Sunday. Bring somebody with you on, on Sunday. Uh, share this with somebody. If you're local, if you're in Hampton Roads, we'll see you in the house. 945. I believe the I believe 945 is what I said. Did I, did I hear 945? 945? I heard 945. 945. That's when it starts. Come on, man. Yes, so look, we'll see y'all in the house on Sunday. We love you.